Hi and welcome to shop RJ Pacini for great deals on eBay. My name is Rich Pacini. Today is September 1st, 2018. I can't believe, folks, September's here already. I mean, the, the way the weeks, the months, and the years are flying by, I mean, <laughs> it's amazing. Um, today I just want to talk a little about some things I had, um, incidents I had, well, something, I guess you could call it an incident. I had a while back, maybe last week, um, I had sent out, I think I did a video on it, I talked about um, a printer that was sent out. It was sent out August 9th, uh, yes, August 9th it was sent out, and um, it didn't run to the person's house for two weeks after, okay? It was supposed to be a two-day delivery um, with priority mail, and that's what I want to talk to you about. I just want to share this information with you guys um, and score a few little things. Uh, with that in regards to you know what happened with that there by the way before I get into that there I just want to say um, I opened up an, an eBay store <laughs> And you know when you open up an eBay store you always get like a little notification there uh, You know you get this thing here. It says you know you can see that there it says uh, your new store your new store is now open and uh, Yeah, I uh, I didn't think I was gonna open it up, but I think like I said in my other videos um at one point, I wasn't going to deal with the you know store because I felt like it was going to be a waste of money. But I got to start a store. Uh, it's four ninety five a month if you if you do it for the year, and if you don't do it for the year with a contract, whatever it is, or a one year commitment, it's four ninety five. And if you don't do it uh, with the commitment, it's seven ninety nine a month, and you get a hundred free listings, and um, anything over the hundred free listings, then you of course you're going to pay. You're going to you know, accrue some uh, additional uh, cost. Uh, each 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 time you add something else over 100, you're going to pay 30 cents, whatever, for the insertion fee. But anyway, um, yeah, I did that there, and I just wanted to share with you guys out there. Uh, most of all, before I forget, <laughs> because I, I'm looking at my desk over here, I got something, I got a couple things over here on my desk here I was looking at. Um, I just want to say thank you to all the new subscribers. Um, thank you very much from the bottom of my heart. I really do appreciate you guys subscribing to the channel. I hope uh, that you guys will like it, uh, share and comment on this channel, and you could help it make it grow. Um, my my goal and purpose with this channel is to get as many subscribers as I can on on here, and share information. You know, um, for those who are new, uh, if you haven't seen my other previous videos, I don't uh, I don't discuss religion or politics. There's no profanity on this channel. It is a clean content channel, okay? Um, you know, I, I don't I don't believe in any of that there. Uh, I don't believe in using profanity. Uh, I don't, you know, want to discuss religion or politics. Not, not that there's anything wrong with, you know, wrong with those uh, topics, but you can go to another website for that. Uh, I do very videos, various videos. I do the reseller news. I do sneak peek videos, demo videos, and intro videos. And I just did one today, I uploaded one. For those who, I know it sounds like a segue, right? Um, I did one on an Nikon Coolpix L840 digital camera, and in the video I just talked a little about it, that it's my, it was my daughter's uh, camera, which it is, I bought it for her brand new, and uh, the reason I put that video out, is kind of like an intro, little, I think it's more like an intro video than a demo video, I should have changed the title and the uh, tagline, but I didn't, I'm sorry folks. Um, it just talks a little about where I got it from and stuff like that, I talk a little about it, and it's just to throw up a little blurb out there to the uh, potential eBay buyers, you know. So for those who are wondering why I put that video out there, uh, if you, like I said again, if you're new, if you look back at my past videos, I do sneak peek videos, demo videos, and intro videos, and that basically is an intro video uh, as to what's gonna be put up on eBay, which it is, I loaded it up today. Uh, I had to upload the video first, and then, in, you know, embed it in my uh, description, so. Um, and again, just to say it really quick, um, I do accept best offers as long as they're reasonable. Please, <laughs> if you're going to make an offer, please make it reasonable. I've been getting some crazy best offers lately in the past. I mean, they're so ridiculous. I didn't even bother. I just declined them. That's how crazy they are. But anyway, I just wanted to throw that out there in case you're wondering. Um, I don't know if you guys are familiar with this here, but for the new ones, for the new subscribers, um, back in the day, eBay, I think, did away with it um, as far as I know. We used to get these things here, folks. Um, I don't know if you're familiar with these here, but every time you got a, um, 
you achieved a certain goal, you would get a star. This one here, I put in a you know, laminate here. Uh, this one I think was for, if you did your first 50, I think there was the blue star, you got your first 50. I believe that's how that was. Then, when you went on to um, 500 listings, you would get that, okay? We get that there. Purple star. And I think that's basically the only one I got. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's the only one I got there. Um, yeah, it was the purple star, and that's what I had there. And uh, it just talks a little about it, like there, you know. Hey, you know where I got these from? Uh, I don't know if you could do it anymore, folks. I was very upset because you know I heard a lot of power sellers and stuff like that. Hey, this is for fifty. It says it right here. Uh, there were a lot of people out there, you know, top-rated sellers that got uh, these awards, achievement awards, whatever. Every time you went through a certain amount of. Um, listings, you know, I guess like buyers and stuff like that. This is for 50 buys, 500, whatever. What was the other one I think it was there? 500, yeah. I didn't do one for the 1,000. You know, I don't, I don't know if I can even get it. It was, eBay had a, a website where you could print these out. Okay, you could print these out. Now people might say, well, what's the big deal? Why do you, why do you want it for? What difference is it gonna make? Is it gonna make it better? So no, but it's just something, it's nice to get recognition for something, you know? Uh, it's like when I worked in a corporation, uh, you would get these uh, awards, you know, the, if you went to certain things, achievement awards, stuff like that, uh, if you participated in certain classes and stuff like that, and, you know, they were just nice that we put them up in our cubicles, you know, they were nice to have, and, um, you know, I don't know, I just thought it was nice to have, you know, but, um, I also have another thing, a sheet, I'm just sharing some information with you guys, I'm going to get into the other topics, so don't worry about it, but, uh, if you guys, this is a sheet here that has the numbers on here, YouTube, eBay, okay, on there, and uh, on the bottom there, that's uh, that's not my house, just to let you know, that's my dream house, <laughs> I wish it was, uh, yeah, it, you know what, I put that, you know why I put that picture there, folks, to inspire me, uh, it sounds crazy, right, but I'd love to have a house like that, beautiful home, it's not mine, it's a picture, but I leave it there with this here, and, um, these are the numbers if you ever need to contact uh, Amazon, PayPal, and eBay, and YouTube. I finally got that number there, so that's what that's for. In case you guys are wondering if you ever have to contact these people. All right. So I got that. Another thing I picked up, well, not picked up, but, um, sorry, folks, I'm just going over the paper here. I have these attention what they talk about. I don't know if you guys are familiar with uh, Piper Jaffrey. Um, they do like statistical abstracts on companies and they'll tell you what's out there, what sells and what's not. I'm going to use my glasses for this year. Um, it's, it, the sheet comes like this, okay? And um, as you can see up there, this particular one, it tells you the video, uh, daily video consumption and it shows you Netflix is up top, YouTube is uh, the second, and cable TV, and then you got Hulu. And what's the other one? Other, I'm trying. I'm reading it as it's up posting up here. All the streaming services, six percent. Um, and then it goes over here. Um, the favorite social media platforms is Snapchat, Instagram, and you can see it's good, it gives you the percentage: thirty-nine percent, twenty-three percent. Twitter, eleven. Facebook is eleven, and Pinterest is one um, percent. Now, this one here, if you look at this, Piper Jaffrey did this here. They also talk about the restaurants here, about what the uh, people like to go in here. Uh, restaurants, yeah. It's, uh, it shows you over here, you know. Uh, you know, I'm just sharing this information with you guys because I do like to help and share, inspire. I hope you guys get something out of it. But you can see, like, these are the places like these kids like to eat at. I guess, well, people like to eat at. Chick-fil-A, Starbucks, you know. And it gives you a percentage of, you know, who's eating where and going out to eat. And then over here, it tells you the medium income. Teen survey, 5,500. Uh, you can see that right there, folks. The average age is 16. Uh, average household income is 66,100. 55%, 45%, 43% of the U.S. states. And then you got the male and female. Okay? And this is from Piper Jaffrey. Uh, you know, if, for those services, you're going to pay for that as well. I, I believe you do pay for it. I happen to pick it up for one of the websites. And uh, I don't know. I just put it in a plastic here and I want to save it. This is the other Piper Jeffrey thing. This is uh, this this came out in spring 2017, mind you, folks. So don't get, you know, I think you know, get too far ahead of yourself. Uh, this one came out 
2017 or spring of 2017. And this gives you an example. I'm sorry for the glare. I got this. I got the plastic wrapping on. This gives you an example of what the top selling clothing brands are. Okay, and the footwear. Uh, as you can see, Nike is 31 percent. I'm trying to get to see it's like blurry. I'm sorry, folks. You have to take my word for it. It's 31 percent, I believe. Uh, American Eagle. Let me get it closer here. American Eagle is 10 percent. Vans, I guess, is another claw footwear. Uh, they got it there, 9 percent. Forever 21, and then it goes down, and so on and so forth. And again, that's Piper Jaffrey puts that out there. And then they tell you the top shopping websites. Amazon comes in, of course, first as, as far as shopping sites. Nike, American Eagle, Forever 21, and yes, eBay is at the bottom at what, 2 percent? Yeah, 2 percent. Um, you got that there. And then on this side here, oh, I got it, everything's reversed. Uh, you got the top handbags. Michael Kors comes up, I think, at 33 percent. I'm sorry, the reason I'm saying I think is I just can't see it's blurry. Uh, then you got Kate Spade, which looks like it's 19 percent, I think. I have to look at this. I'm sorry, folks. Nine percent. Uh, yeah, no, 19 percent is right. And then you got Coach, which is nine percent. And then you got the other ones over there. Long was that? Long Champ. I'm sorry. Yeah, Long Champ. I never heard of them. Five percent. And then you got Louis Vuitton coming in at five percent. Okay. Now you're probably wondering why I'm sharing. I just thought I'd share it with you guys. You know, like I said, that's what my YouTube channel is all about, folks. Uh, for those who knew. It's all about inspiring, helping, inspiring, and sharing information. <clears throat> and, uh, you know, the little tips I give out, you know, I did these, some things I, do, I put, the reason why I do these videos too is also just make you aware of certain things. You know, myself, uh, personally, myself, um, getting involved with eBay and YouTube and stuff like that. Well, YouTube is one thing, you know, creating videos. A lot of people, you know, I think they're camera shy to be in front of a, a video here. Like I said, I'm doing a, a webcam. But, you know, uh, there's really nothing to be shy about when you when you're looking at a when you're looking at whether it be a camera or a webcam. I know it's like a person's looking at you, and you know the little webcam I got, my little HP webcam, is the gateway to the world, so to speak. I mean, you know, well, I'm I'm videotaping this here through my webcam, and when I pop it up on YouTube, you know, the whole world is privy to see this here, to see what I'm talking about, see me as an individual. And I think a lot of people get nervous about that there, you know, and I think that's what, you know, holds a lot of people back from making videos. In the beginning, I felt like that too. I said, you know, you know, I'm going to go on, I'm going to go on YouTube. I'm going to broadcast myself worldwide. I'm not saying the whole world is going to look at Rich Bassini, but I'm just saying, you know, some people, I think they get intimidated by it. It's like, well, they're afraid of the critics, you know, people are going to make uh, nasty comments. And stuff. Look, you know. Not for nothing, I don't want to curtail too much off into the, you know, spin off into something else. But let me tell you, for those who do or are interested in creating a YouTube channel, be your best, do the best you can. You know, all right, we're not professional. I do the reseller news. I'm not a professional journalist, okay? All right, when most people ain't professionals that, that start a YouTube channel. But there have been many that have become successful doing a YouTube channel. Uh, I'm talking about the ones that, you know, surpass millions and millions of subscribers and stuff like that. But if you do a follow-up or you do a Google search on successful YouTubers, you will see there are quite a few people out there, and I mean more than quite a few, that have become amazed, enormous welts, you know, 10 million, 15 million, 8 million, whatever, you name it, they have it out there. You can do it yourself. Just do a Google search and put in top-rated YouTube sellers or, or top, no, not top sorry, sellers, uh, YouTube uh, you know, top YouTubers there, if you want to pull up them there. They're like celebrities on YouTube. And, um, you know, it, it could be intimidating, but you know what, folks? What's the worst that could happen? You bomb out on your video. Me, I got so used to it now. I mean, I put the stuff out there. I get, I've been getting nice comments. And, you know, maybe because people who do watch my videos, sometimes I don't throw a little disclaimer in there, but I'll throw a little, little verbiage in there saying that um, if anyone's going to leave nasty comments, I'm not going to respond to them. I'm just going to simply delete them. And that's what I would do. I haven't gotten them, thank God. Uh, but if I do get any nasty ones, I'm not going to you know, I'm not going to get into a cyber war. And I'm not going to rebuttal with the person. All I'm going to do is just delete it. So, you know, they'd be wasting their time. I mean, you'd be wasting keystrokes, you know, typing in there. Because it's not going to, it's not going to get me riled up where I'm going to sit here get into a cyber war with you. So if people do have intentions of leaving nasty comments, you're more than welcome, but I'm not going to answer them, <laughs> really. So that's not what this channel is all about. It's this channel is to help inspire and share information, you know. And people might say, "Well, how are you helping people? Helping by 
giving information out there, inspiring by telling people what they can and what they can't do, you know, well, I can't say I can't do, but you want to say inspire them to, to do, to, you know, if you're going to start a business, you know, take it, take it, you know, take a chance at it. But I always say, if you're going to go into eBay, uh, proceed with caution. Don't just jump into it and quit your day job and do this full time, you know, say, I'm going to do this full time, make a full time living because you're going to be very sad. <laughs> Believe me, you're going to be very disappointed. Um, and as far as like um, sharing, sharing information, it's exactly it. It's a sharing and I do it through social media. What better way to get it out? You know, I say in a lot of my videos too, um, my goal, my for all intents and purposes with this YouTube channel, in case anyone wants to know, is, you know, I'm not a rich person. My name is Rich, but I'm not rich. <laughs> I wish. Uh, but, you know, I look at it this way. I can't help out monetarily. I mean, I want to help people out. I wish I could be one of those successful entrepreneurs that could be like, you know, like Jeff Bezos. One man who created, what, 500, over 500,000 jobs. That's how many people got jobs, I think, that work in this company, I guess, worldwide, I believe it is. I believe that's what the, uh, the numbers were when I last looked at it. But here's one man that created all those jobs. I would like to be like that one man to create jobs. I want to help people, you know? I can't do it monetarily. I mean, if someone was to call me and say, hey, you know, you know, can you lend me some money and stuff like that? Or could you help me out, help me pay my car off, my mortgage? I don't have those funds to do that, folks. I wish I could be better off like that, you know, more financially stable like that, where I could help people out. But I think this is the next best way to go, you know? Um, helping people out through social media. And even if you get a, a small takeaway from it, that is the most important thing. For me, that, that would make me happy. Uh, I've gotten nice comments uh, from all the videos where people say, I love your video. Uh, thanks a lot for sharing with me. I got, I got some information out, whatever. And you know something? That makes me happy. That, that really does. I mean, it really brings enlightenment to me. Like, you know, because I know I'm doing something right when a person will respond. Even if it's one person out of a thousand or a hundred thousand, whatever. That one person makes a difference in a person in another person's life or even how they condone themselves you know but seriously um that's what this channel is all about folks that's what it's all about and that's why i put my videos to you know in some cases please like comment and share you know tell other people about my channel tell them about me you know i'm a i'm a decent person like i said if they want a clean content channel and i don't mean other i'm not saying it in a derogative way where I'm, I'm bad mouthing other YouTube channels because there are a lot of great YouTube creators out there, folks. There are a lot, a lot of good creators out there, and they're really killing it with their with their uh, the channel. You know, they're putting out good, you know, good content, and um, you know, they're doing the right thing, and that's what I'm all about. You know, I don't, I don't want you to be like one of these people like come to. I, I've been to, and the reason why I bring this up is because I've been to channels. Uh, other creators and I'm not like I said again I'm not mentioning name and I'm not here to pin a medal on my chest and say oh you you know I'm the best no I'm not by far I'm not but I, I went to a couple of creators uh, videos uh, you know to learn about certain things and, and some other topics uh, but and you know what the person will come on they'll start talking 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 and the next thing you know they're throwing the f-bomb out at boom boom at boom 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 you know they're peppering the conversation with the f in there and you know profanity um, I'm not knocking those people. That's it's their channel, you know. If, if that's how they want to, you know, express themselves, you know, maybe they may be frustrated or whatever. And some people, I guess, when they get super mad, they, you know, the boom, they throw that word out. But that's not what this channel is all about. I call it a kid safe channel. Okay, uh, if you have little kids hanging around you, you know, let's say you're a mother or a father, or whatever, you're in a den or living room, and you just happen to tune me in for whatever reason. Maybe you want to see one of my videos, what it's all about. You don't have to worry about telling your kids, kids, go into the next room. Oh, why, Mom? Why, Dad? Well, I got this guy on here. I don't know what's going to come out of his mouth. Believe me, I've done videos over an hour, okay? And I am not a person to sit there and talk, starting off really nice, and the next thing you know, crazy stuff comes out of my mouth. You don't have to worry about that, folks, seriously. But enough with me. The reason I want to talk to you guys is um, I'm getting back now. I'm going back to the, uh, the, what do you call it there, shipping uh, thing with the problem with the printer. Um, that had a happy ending to it at one point. Uh, after, the, after the buyer, I was communicating with the buyer back and forth for two weeks. And believe me, at, the buyer was annoyed. I will have to honestly say the buyer was very upset when they got it. And I thought for sure when I looked at my feedback score, I was, de I was thinking she is definitely going to give me a negative feedback. Because she says, I am very unhappy 
It arrived today. Well, there was something else with it. Um, she had claimed she couldn't get the uh, printer to work. I was like, what? I said to myself, how could it be possible? And I said, okay, I messaged back. She goes, uh, you, know, you know, she didn't say anything about returning it. But I said, she didn't, you know, she didn't say, I want to send it back. I want my money back. She didn't, she didn't complain. She was, I guess, waiting for a response. So I messaged her back and I said, listen, I said, I brought it up. She didn't. I said, if you'd like to, I said, I'm very sorry to hear about that. You can't get it to work. I said, when it was here, it was tested. Everything worked fine. I said, if you can't get it to work, please don't worry. I'll refund you your whole amount of money. Plus you get the free return shipping. And I said, you know, so don't worry about it. I said, I, I apologize. Please accept my apologies. I said, I, I don't know what happened, but it was here. It worked. When I do my demo videos with, when it comes to printers or electronics, I show you that it's physically working at this location. So uh, when that happened, she, she messaged me back and she said, I'm very annoyed because I did, it doesn't work. And I'm, I'm also upset that it took two weeks to get it when it's supposed to be here in three days and I didn't receive it. I said, I'm so sorry. I apologize for that too as well. She kind of like put that into the, uh, the first message. And afterwards I said, all right, well, here I'm thinking, I said, oh, well, here we go. I got to get a return. I said, and, you know, a lot of, I don't know, I can't speak for a lot of sales. I'm going to speak for myself. Okay. I don't like returns. And the reason why I don't like returns is because, you know, we depend as sellers, we depend on, on that stuff. You know, we depend on, on, on making that, that, that sale. You know, we got bills to pay and stuff. And, um, when you get a return, it stinks, especially if it's a big, if it's a large amount of money, it, it stinks because now you're saying, ah, oh, man, it just cut me, you know, you, you took, you, now you got to take that money out of your business account or your personal savings or whatever you put that money and now you got to refund it. But that's part of the game. You know, that's part of the game with this here. So it's, it's not like something that's a surprise. Like, oh, I didn't know it was going to happen. You know, it's, it's part of the game and that's what you, you have to do it that way. You know, you gotta, you gotta live, live up to your, 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 your policies and my return return policies. 30 days free returns and um, so I'm over here thinking oh, I'm gonna get a return you know she's gonna return then she messaged back she says oh she goes by the way I just want to let you know I got it to work I used the I plugged the USB cord in there and everything works fine I'm gonna keep it I love it thank you I said whoo thank you I said well I messaged her back I said well thank you very much I'm so happy it worked out for you I said I'm sorry about the delay with the postal service I don't know how that happened the point I'm getting across now folks I'm gonna take it to the screen it's supposed to take three days, three days to get there. And the person wasn't like around the world. I don't do international shipping. So people may say, well, maybe you did do it. No, it wasn't international. It was within the United States. Um, it was in Georgia. That's what it was going to Georgia. And um, anyway, it took two weeks to get there. They got lost. I, had to open. I called up the postal service a couple of times, complained about them. I said how unhappy I was with the service. I said, I can't believe this happens. It's just the first time. I said, it's making me look bad. It's bad for the business. I said, you know, if this person goes on uh, face, I mean, uh, eBay and starts leaving a negative feedback, you know, stating that the, the package of Russ is to be delivered in three days and arrived two weeks later, I would have rebuttaled it anyway. I would have fought it anyway. And most likely, I, 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 I'll be honest with you, I think I would have got that removed anyway. Then if, if the person did leave a feedback like that, my personal take, I would have, I, I believe my personal take, I would have definitely got it, had it removed because it has nothing to do with me. It had nothing to do with me whatsoever. I shipped it out, priority mail, said three day delivery. It got lost. I called up the postal inspectors. We're supposed to do an investigation on. I called customer service. I was calling like every couple days. Where's that package? Where's that package? And now I, I went on the tracking. I did that, but that wasn't good enough. I wanted to hear verbal. I wanted verbal confirmation. Okay. I wanted to hear from the person itself. I want to hear from the USPS customer service. Where is that package? Where did it go? You know, the buyer is upset with me. You know, oh, well, you know, these things happen. Yeah, I know they happen, but <laughs> why is it taking two weeks? Where did it go? And, I, and then I'm asking them, it's like, well, you guys scanning in. She, and I go, I gave it to my letter carrier who delivers the mail to our house. And he gets it and I see him. He takes his scanner out, boom, he scans it right there. You could hear a beep, you know, the little audible beep. So I know it's been scanned. So, I called the post office the next after I started getting complaints about that. You know, she complained about it. I called up the post office and said, you know, just after weeks you waited, going, going on almost no, it's coming on the second week now. And I didn't know anything about it. I'm thinking everything is good. So when the person called me up and started, you know, where's my package and stuff like that? I was like, oh my God. I called up the postal service and I asked them, I said, 
Who picks up that there? They go, well, we get a pickup that comes at the end of the day, five, after 5 o'clock, they come around and pick up all the parcels. Could you kindly tell me where that package went? Well, we don't know right now. It still shows in transit. You mean to tell me people are coming to the post office, you're going to have another, other postal truck uh, drivers come to your post office, pick up packages, and you don't know where it's located? They go, well, sometimes they might, you know, we, we take it to a, a mail facility, a processing facility, and the place is huge, and it might have gotten misplaced. You know, and the person, I wasn't getting upset, but I'm saying to myself, how could this be possible? We live in a digital, we live in an electronic age here. Everything is done with scanners and phone. We got cell phones and everything else. I mean, the barcode readers. But how could this thing get lost? It's not in little packages. It was 22 pounds. But anyway, long story short, she got it. She's happy. That's all that matters. I, she didn't, I don't know if she left me a positive feedback. I didn't even bother looking, but I'm, I'm not showing any negatives. Thank God for that. Anyway, let me bump on the screen. I just want to just show something when, you know, really just bring something to your attention here. Here, you see over here, folks, this here, the reason why you're pricing, all right, what is this all about? All right, for four ounces, you see what the postal office would charge for a package like that. Today, I sent out a little hat, a uh, Harley Davidson hat, okay? That's what it was going for, and that's the total price, whatever, okay? Um, if I sent it out, a four-ounce package, it would go for $6.35. So he's probably saying, what's this all about? What I want to show you guys is that um, you can see here, it says priority mail. Okay, so it's one to three days. All right, now we move to the next slide here. If you do a first class package, now I'm not saying you're going to send it out there, I'm just trying to show you the difference here. A first class package is two to three days. All right, and when you hit the next window here, for those, these are like kind of like for the newbies, I'm sharing this information with folks. All right, now if you do the when you change it, you know, compare the delivery schedules, whatever services. You could see here, it's got priority mail, one to three days, okay, so on. The only one I noticed, or two that, that come up, um, is the parcel, it's between two to nine days, okay, and so and, and, and that, that goes for the uh, media mail as well. Now, the, thing, the reason I'm bringing this out is, folks, when you see this here, the priority mail, okay, well, here, these here, let's go back to that window. You see the priority mail, these, from, from, from one to three days, I didn't notice it, they told me this here, is guaranteed, it's not, it's not guaranteed, I'm sorry, it's not guaranteed. So I was on the, I was always under the impression that when you um, ship a package out, priority mail, it's guaranteed to get there within three days. From what I was told from the UPS, USPS customer service, priority mail is not guaranteed. She did say, however, Priority Mail Express is guaranteed, but you're going to pay for it, okay? I didn't click that on to see what it was, but as you can see, first class package is two to three days. Well, the package came out to $2.66, okay? Um, that's what the discount, of course. But the point I'm getting across is Priority Mail and, and first class package, it shows you two to three days, okay? So when I, the point I'm getting across is if you have a choice, you can make it better, like I said, but it, it, it didn't work in my case. What I'm going to say is if you get a package, if you use a priority mail or first class package, if it's small, if it's under, if it's, I think it's up to a pound, I think you can use it. There's really no difference in it in a sense that priority mail and first class package, it's got a three-day time span on it. So in other words, whether you use priority mail or first class package, it's gonna get there, it should get there within three days. Yeah, and again, this is not guaranteed. Okay, so just keep that in mind going forward. That's why I wanted to show this to you. You're probably wondering why I'm getting you know what I'm getting at with this here, but I'm just trying to show you the comparisons in priority mail versus first class package. They all have a three-day stamp on them unless you go with priority mail express. The other thing I want to share really quick, I mean, I, I just wanted to get that out in the open if is the other thing I want to share really quick is um, for those who have the Apple phones, the Apple iPhones 8, it says over here, I picked this up. Uh, this is on Engadget.com. Uh, Engadget um, now, keep aware of the dates now, folks, for those who have it. Okay, it says Apple will repair defective iPhone 8 logic boards for free.
phones eligible for repair were sold between September 27th, uh, 2017 and March 2018. Okay, so just keep that in mind for those who have the iPhone 8 and those purchase dates. I'll go over here one more time. It's the phones eligible for repair were sold between September 2017 and March 18. I don't know this. I don't. I own an Apple iPhone 5, you know, the uh, 5s, whatever. Um, I got the older one. For me, it works. But I didn't know there was going to be. I didn't know there was going to be defective or, or, or if there is something going on with them. I don't know. My daughters have the latest phones. I got, I'm going to let them make them aware of it as well. It goes on to say over here. We haven't seen reports of. Um, no, we haven't seen reports <clears throat> of widespread. Uh, yeah, reports of widespread problems with the iPhone 8. But Apple revealed late Friday that it's opening up. Uh, it's opening a logic board replacement program. According to the company, a very small percentage of phones sold between September 2017 and March 12, uh, March 2018, the first six months were in sale, have manufacturing defects that could lead to restarts, freezes, or failure to start, of course. Uh, when we sell as many phones as we, Apple does, even a small percentage can add up very quickly, as we have seen with previous iPhone flaws like no service, iPhone 7 bug, or iPhone 6 plus touch disease, okay? <laughs> um, I'm not going to read the whole thing here. I don't know how much more goes down. Well, probably not much. I guess I can. It says over here, this is not applied to a phone, uh, iPhone 8 Plus or any other model and owners of the devices purchased during that period can hit Apple's website to check if their devices impact. Uh, if it is, then Apple will replace the phone for free. FYI, physical damage like cracked screen will need to be fixed first. And then th that, that could cost you, of course, which is right, which is only fair if you broke it. Uh, if you'd rather wait, uh, then a replacement program will be enforced, uh, will be enforced for three years uh, from the first retail sale of the device and does not extend its warranty. Okay? So just keep that in mind. Uh, again, from what I'm reading here, this is, this is regards to the iPhone 8. Now I'm going to bump out of here, go back to this here, and go back over here. All right, guys, I'm not going to take too much more of your time. I don't know how long this video is going to be. I just wanted to share the information with you. Um, again, and I just want to say thank you to all the new subscribers. That I really do appreciate it, you know, that you're checking out my videos and stuff. And I really do hope you get a takeaway from it. And I really would hope if somebody could kindly tell me that they do get stuff out of this here, that the information is helpful. I'm not saying every single video I put out is going to be, you know, a takeaway, but... Um, for those who, who do watch these videos and do get something from it, I, I really would appreciate if you could just let me know. Drop it in the comment below and say, hey, you know, Rich, thank you for sharing that with us. You know, uh, you know, it's, how can I say it? I just, I just do, the, like I said, I love doing these videos. I love YouTube. I love selling on eBay. And if I can get some information out there, like I said, again, if I got some, you know, selling tips or money saving tips to help out in any way, I'm going to post it out there, folks. You know, I'm gonna put it out there. Um, I didn't get a check. I didn't get a chance to check the uh, my Google alerts uh, in regards to resell the news. I, I want to do the resell the news weekends too, and uh, I even have, have time. I didn't have time to do that because I'm busy listing or I got other personal issues to take care of, and uh, it leaves me no time. You know, and doing these videos is a lot. It takes a long time to uh, edit them and then upload them and stuff like that. I don't have a state-of-the-art computer system here. You know, so it kind of like runs slow. So uh, I try to do the best I can. But listen, guys, I just want to say thank you so much for taking the time to stop by, to hear me out, to hear a little talk about some you know, little things that I thought may be of interest to you. Again, if you like what I do with these videos, please subscribe to my channel. Um, if you get anything out of it, give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to hit the notification bell if you want to be updated on whenever I put new videos out. I don't strictly, for those, if you get bored with the reseller news, I just want to say, um, I do, I'm going to be doing other videos, to be honest with you. I'm going to talk about different topics. Basically, it'll be, you know, money-saving topics, maybe some how-tos, maybe do yourselves. So, you know, if you don't find the reseller news too appealing or whatever, um, you, you might still want to stay subscribed. You know, I, me personally, I subscribe to quite a few people, you know, company, other creators, and, um, when they're posting stuff out, sometimes I might get two or three posts a day from these particular subscribers, I mean creators. Um, I don't delete them or I don't unsubscribe from them. What I do is I just X out and I'll go back to them later on. That's if I'm busy doing lists and stuff like that. Sometimes I just don't have time 
to follow all the other creators. I mean, and they put out good content. So sometimes it's hard, you know, for me to watch all those videos, but I never, I don't really unsubscribe to anybody. You know, if I subscribe to you, uh, if to your channel, it's because there's something of interest there. That's why I like to subscribe, you know, to your specific channel. And, you know, people may say, well, maybe the reason why people don't subscribe to you is because they don't find what you're putting out, you know, substantial enough for them to, uh, you know, maybe it's information that's, that's not pertinent to them. They don't really get anything out of it. So I can understand, you know, you hit the channel and, eh, you know, maybe yes, maybe no, you know, but I really do hope you guys could, uh, you know, subscribe and stuff like that. I, you, you know, if you don't, you'll be missing out because, you know, sometimes I do news flashes too. I mean, I do, I do news briefs and news flashes sometimes, and uh, it might be, especially if you're a seller or e-commerce seller, you know, but you sell on eBay, Amazon, Etsy, Macari. Um, I, I put information about a lot of things out, different things. So uh, you might want to subscribe and, you know, hit that notification bell. But anyway, I'll talk to you the next time. This is Rich Pacini signing off. Today is September 1st, 2018. Have a great weekend, guys. Talk to you next time. Bye-bye.